Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello students I am Navya in this video we are going to solve the question of DBMS subject from normalization so question is given like this the given functional dependency f q r tends to s comma r tends to p comma s tends to q holds as a relational schema Uh, given as x of p q r s. Now x is decomposed into two tables which are y and z, and y contains p r and z contains q r s. So x is not in B C N F. Consider the statements. Statement one: y and z are in B C N F. Statement two: decomposition of x into y and z is dependency preserving and lossless. So which of the following is correct? So option A, one is only. Option B, both one and two. Option C, neither one and two. Option D, two only. So here question given as there is a relational schema which has like columns like P Q R S. Okay. So this is the functional dependencies of X. So after that X has decomposed into two tables. Which are nothing but y, z, and uh, here y has p, r, okay, p r columns, and z has q r s, okay. So statements are given. Y, z are in B, C, N, F. Option two, statement two, statement two. decomposition of x into y and z is dependency preserving and lossless so here first we are going to check second option so that we can uh, find the functional dependencies of these two from that we can say it is b c n f or not okay that's why so first we are going to solve that this is dependency preserving or not so for dependency preserving uh, first we need to find out the dependencies of this functional dependencies of this table okay For that, we need to find out the attribute closure of P using these functional dependencies. So here, from attribute closure of P is P only. So here we don't consider uh, trivial functional dependencies. Okay, next R closure. So R closure is going to be R itself and next to P. So Here it is going to be R tends to P. Okay, next. Here, next uh, again, we need to consider Q closer. Okay, Q is Q only. So here Q R is there, right? So we are going to find out Q R closer. So it is going to be Q R S P. So P Q R S. Here, in this table, it has only Q R S. So wherever P comes, it, we we need to ignore that one. So Q R tends to S, and Q R tends to R. Q R tends to Q is going to be trivial, right? So here we consider only this. Next S closure. So S closure is going to be S. Uh, S tends to Q. So it is going to be S tends to Q. so in this we are getting all these functional dependencies right r tends to p we are getting from this table s tends to q and q r tends to s okay so here this is functional dependency so this functional dependency sorry so here this is dependency preserving so next we need to check it is lossless or not so for lossless uh, we must be follow three uh, rules right first rule is attribute union like uh, attribute of uh, y union attributes of uh, z should be equal to attribute of x right so this one first condition attribute of x so here p r q r s p q r s And it is PQRS, so it is satisfying this condition. 
Okay. Next. Next rule is attribute of y intersection attribute of z should not be equal to pi and it should be equal to and should be equal to so in uh, condition 2 attribute of y intersection attribute of z should not be equal to phi and it should be equal to one of the attributes right so one of the attributes of decomposed tables so here common is there which is r and it belongs to and there should be a common right r which is y and z okay so it is also solving and third condition is whatever the column common column is there it should act as primary key so here r tends to p so here it is acting as primary key right r tends to p so in this this is acting as primary key because using this i am getting all this pr okay and in this it is not acting as but it acts as foreign key right so here it is a primary key and here it is a foreign key so i can say uh, this is lossless also okay so i can say a given statement 2 is true because uh, this table decomposed table is functional uh, de sorry given uh, statement 2 is correct because uh, given uh, sorry statement 2 is correct because uh, given uh, decomposed tables uh, which are in dependency preserving and lossless decomposition also so that is true next one is first statement so y and z are in bcnf so as we know in bcnf x tends to y x must be a super key right okay so here let's check uh, here he mentioned x is not in bcnf right so why because here qr is a key because using qr i am going to get all these things so qr is a key so it is a super key so this is the, this functional dependency is in bcnf but r tends to p r is not a super key and s is not a super key so that's why entire full is not a bcnf okay so like that we need to check for these also so here r tends to p is there so r is from r i am going to get p so it is acting as a key only super key only so it is in bcnf pr is y is in bcnf so let me check for z also here he is QR, right? Using QR, I am going to get QRS. So, but in S, using S, I can't get QRS, right? So, it is not in BCNF. So, I can say uh, Z is not in BCNF. So, in a given first statement, Y and Z are in BCNF. So, I can say uh, Y is in BCNF. Z is in not in BCNF, right? So, of statement one is wrong so i can say uh, which option is correct so option a is one only option b both one and two option c neither one nor two option d two only so here option d two only is the right answer okay thank you hope you like the video like and share with your friends keep watching